Hi, my name is Meredith Holborn and I'm a Technical Account Manager at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to walk you through one possible way to manage permissions of your Kudos dashboard after it's been deployed and shared to other users in QuickSight. These steps can be applied to any QuickSight dashboard that you've deployed, but this tutorial is specific to the Kudos dashboard, part of the Cloud Intelligence Dashboards framework. We're going to work with a single dashboard and groups of users. In this example, I'm going to work with two groups, finance and engineering. In my example, finance is allowed to have access to all AWS accounts available in this dashboard, but engineering is restricted to their one account where they work out of day to day. Let's get started. First, we'll create a permission CSV file. This is going to define group names and associated accounts. With this file, we're defining a group name of engineering associated with account ending in 626 and a group name of finance with no accounts defined, which means this group has access to all accounts. Let's upload this to an S3 bucket, which I've already created, that is in the same region where our dashboard is, in this case, US East 1. Now we'll create a manifest file in JSON format, which simply points to the CSV file inside the S3 bucket where we uploaded this file in the previous step. In this case, my bucket name is QuickSight Permission. This file essentially tells QuickSight where to look to find the rules we're about to apply to our datasets. I'm going to save this file as kudos underscore manifest dot JSON. Next, we need to go into QuickSight and create a new dataset with an S3 data source. We'll name it kudos permissions and upload our manifest file. Let's go in to edit this dataset and ensure that the linked account ID field is a string type. The reason we need to do this is that we'll lose any leading or trailing zeros on an account ID if it remains as an integer value. Okay, now that we've created the dataset, we'll set a daily refresh schedule and this will ensure it's updated daily. Now I need to accommodate for the fact that our customer all dataset does not currently include a field called linked account ID which is the field we've referenced in our permission CSV. The dataset does include a field called line item usage account ID, which references the linked account. So we will add a calculated field of linked account ID to the customer all dataset, which is just going to populate a new column with the same data. We're almost there now. Next, we will apply row level security to our five kudos datasets. We choose user-based rules and then select the kudos permissions dataset and apply. Repeat this for the four other datasets. Once complete, there will be a lock icon next to the datasets that have been secured with row level security. Finally, we need to use the AWS CLI to create quick site groups and add our users to those groups. I'm going to use Cloud Shell because it saves me the step of authenticating. I'll create two groups, Finance and Engineering. The AWS account we're specifying here is the one that's hosting our Kudos dashboard. Then I'll add my users to their respective groups. You can collect the correct QuickSight username from the Manage QuickSight menu. I'm adding Demo user to the Engineering group and my Admin user to the Finance group. The finance group can see all AWS accounts and the engineering group can only see the engineering AWS accounts. Okay, we're all set, so let's test it. If I log in as a user in the engineering group, I'll see the complete dashboard with only data from one account. To confirm, I expand this account name control field and it only displays the engineering account. Then if I log in as a finance user, I'll see all of the accounts related to the dashboard. To confirm, if I expand the account name control field, it shows me all of the accounts under this pair, which for this demo is just two. Thanks for watching this tutorial on permission management at scale with QuickSight groups and row level security.